Today I want to bring you two tips on cleaning up your workspace. Uh, and the reason I want to do this is because uh, one of the things that we do here at PhotoNerds University is we mentor students, photographers, uh, all around the United States. Um, through this mentoring program, we work on a one-on-one -on -one basis with students who want to better their workflow or their experience with Lightroom, Photoshop, things like that. If you want to know more about that service, just go to photonerdsuniversity.com forward slash services. But it never, it never ceases to amaze me that every time I log into someone's computer that their desktop space is just a mess. It's very rare that you get with a client whose desktop space is nice and clean. If you look here at my desktop space, you'll see that I have created a little bit of a disaster just so you could see what I'm talking about. This right here is what I see all the time, whether it's loose files, folders, uh, you know, plugged in hard drives, etc. And since I'm a little OCD, this kind of stuff drives me a little bit batty. But what really drives me crazy is that if I see this, that usually that tells me that you don't have an efficient backup system or that all of your files aren't backed up properly. Because if you've got this stuff here, it probably isn't backed up. And that's a problem. So in today's tip, we're going to talk about two tips that we can do to clean up this mess. This has nothing to do with the backup part but at least clean it up so that it's a little bit more presentable. The first tip is actually something I like to refer to as the junk drawer. Everyone has a junk drawer in their house. Some people have more than one junk drawer, two or three. Some people have a junk closet, a junk room, a junk garage. It's a little out of control, but the point of a junk room or a junk drawer is when you're looking for something, usually the junk drawer is the first place that you go to. So if you can create a junk drawer, chances are the files that you're looking for are probably there. And you can do that very simply by just making a folder um, on your desktop, calling it junk drawer, and putting it off to the side. And from here, it's very easy. You could just take all the files that you have on your desktop, just select all of them, and drag them into that junk drawer folder. And for something like this, it doesn't matter if you're a Mac or a PC user this will work because we can all create folders and we can all drag everything into there. Already this looks 10 times better than a bunch of files just thrown randomly on the desktop. But there's one more thing that I want to talk about that takes this to a whole nother level and it's something that I absolutely love. It's a new app or an app called Hidden Me. And what you do is if you're a Mac user you just head on over to the App Store you search for hidden me it'll come up uh, right away um, and this is a free app which is awesome and all you do is install it once you're done installing it just click open and what this will do is it's gonna put an icon in your menu bar at the top of your screen it's just a little circle and what you can do is you can click it and then choose hide desktop icons and as soon as you click hide desktop icons all the icons disappear and what's nice about this is the icons aren't gone they didn't leave it just appears as though they did in fact you can bring them back by going to the icon once again and saying show desktop icons and they immediately come back I love this this keeps a nice clean minimalistic setup so all I'm looking at is a really cool wallpaper or something like this. I'm not looking at all those dreaded icons. The other thing to note is that even though they're hidden, they're still available. If I were to go into my Finder window and go to Desktop, you'll see that that folder, that junk drawer folder that I created, is still available. Even though when I'm physically looking at the desktop, you can't really see it. There's one more little thing or a little tip that I want to mention here, and it's that you can also create a global hotkey for this. So for example, if you wanted to create a keyboard shortcut um, that automatically turned or activated this on, you could do that right here by going in here saying record a keyboard shortcut. Maybe I want my F1 key, for example, to be the key that activates this. So once I'm done doing that, I can, I can turn that off. And now every time I hit F1, 
my icons will appear or F1 again they'll disappear so rather than going to the top this is a faster way of doing it hopefully you enjoyed this video I know for me this tugs at my heartstrings because those dirty messy desktops drive me a little bit bananas hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did give us a thumbs up comments likes subscribes all of that is always helpful as always thank you so much for watching my name is Adam I'm out <laughs>